by CFU, the power of service. UNI and I assistant coach Seth Tuttle is in his first season as a full-time assistant college coach. He's helping lead this year's UNI men's basketball team and is focusing on UNI's offensive scheme. As a player at UNI, his offensive skills were some of the best ever on display by a UNI Panther. Because of that, he was inducted into the UNI Athletics Hall of Fame. Here's looking back at King Tut. Huge honor. Um, David called me. Uh, actually, it's funny. I, I thought I was, I thought he was calling about the job. So I had a, the, the job that I got accepted to be the assistant coach. I thought that's what he was calling for. So it was, it was big news when he told me that he kind of two for one the phone call. It was awesome. It's a, it's a huge honor. Um, you know, just. Our class 2021 is a special class and I've been to a couple of these ceremonies and I know um, the classes, the teams, the players, the individuals who, who are um, a part of this and, and it's, it's a huge honor and something um, I don't take for granted. That, that's why you go to UNI, right? That's, that's why you come and play for Coach Jake, um, for that opportunity. Uh, you, you, go to, you go to play to play in the NCAA tournament. Uh, we, we fell short the first three years. We had great teams, uh, a great run in the NIT my freshman year, but that last year, that 14-15 that was special. It's the reason why you go to a place like UNI. Um, and, and we had a blast. Like our, our teammates, uh, we, we battled through some stuff that summer between our junior and senior year. We brought everybody back. We battled. We had some goals that we wanted. Um, and it was a lot of fun when everything kind of came, came through for us. Like when I think about my time here, my teammates. Um, I had some of my wedding. Should have had more. Uh, you can't have 40 people, or I would have. Uh, so they're just your teammates, right? Like that's the first thing you think about. You spend all all four years with them. You spend time in the locker room, in the weight room, and the out to eat um, at the bars, whatever. You know how it is. Uh, you have a lot of fun, a lot of memories with them. My first big game in the NIT was a special one for me. One I'll never forget. That was my. I was a freshman. Um, that West, the Wichita State game at home our senior year, one comes to mind right away. That game at Iowa State, my, my parents grew up, my dad went to Iowa State, so we grew up Iowa State fans. So that was my freshman year going into Hilton uh, and getting a win it was pretty special, pretty unique. I had a lot of uncles that weren't sure exactly how to feel. What I've learned or what I've, I've figured out is it's all about the people that you surround yourself with. And, and for me, it was something that my dad sat me down and talked to me a lot about when we were going through the recruiting process. And luckily, my, my father knew what he was talking about. He said, this is the staff you want to be around. This is the staff you want to learn from. And, and I 100% agree with him. You know, Coach Jake is his first class. He's an outstanding coach. And he gets a ton of help from his assistants. And they are elite. And, and I figured that out when I played for him. And now I'm really figuring that out now that I'm coaching with him. Um, so I would say a, a, a huge amount goes to the staff for for teaching me things, also just putting up with me uh, as I grew and I matured through the years. Because now that you, you know, you have an opportunity to sit here and look back on it, um, I wasn't easy to deal with. Right? I wasn't easy to deal with, and they, you know, they did a great job. So it's, uh, I owe them a lot. My first game in Germany, I wore a UNI shirt for my warm-up. My pre-game um, shirt was a UNI T-shirt, and I had two individuals, two or three individuals come up to me and talk to me and they were Germans. They were from Germany. No, I've never met them. They weren't, we were, it was an away game, so it wasn't even our fans, right? And, and they came up and said, oh, you, you and I, and they talked about certain players that had played in the league, Ben Jacobson, John Little, um, about our program, about, like, they know who we are. Um, they know exactly what we do here and they know the type of players we have. It was, a, it was an eye-opening experience for me, that, those couple few conversations. And then you realize that everywhere you go, the players that you play with, the players you play against, the Americans that come over, the amount of respect that Northern Iowa has is way more than we probably even give ourselves credit for.